Team Hella has snatched its first victory! And the MVP is... Captain! Damn, why did they turn around? They can't beat us, so they flee like cowards. We can't let them get away! Understood. V710, enable auxiliary aim and fire mode. Command successfully received. Automatically searching for enemy targets. Targets within range locked. Ready to fire. Chief, all targets have been defeated. Attention, the Desert Bandit's fleet is retreating. Chief, if we stop chasing them now, the target fleet will escape. What are you hesitating for, dummy? Even if we get ambushed by more desert bandits, they would be no match for the V-710. seems to have no existing roots. Let's not make any rash moves. The first priority of navigating White Sands is to make sure the route is safe. V-710, retrieve satellite imagery of the area that the desert bandits are fleeing towards. Ugh, what are those disgusting worms? Oh gosh, I'm getting goosebumps all over. Those are sandworms. They are the most commonly found creatures in White Sands, and usually live underground. Then why did they come to the surface? Just taking some fresh air? Oh no! According to my grandpa's records, when sandworms show signs of mass agitation, it means the tide of ashes is going to arrive. We'd better find shelter now and hide from the tide of ashes. Otherwise, if we are caught in the storm, everyone's life will be in grave danger. Hey, is that tide thing really that scary? Even the V-710 can't withstand it? Didn't you say this ship could protect us? The V-710's hypercube force field can indeed protect us while navigating through sandstorms. However... If we run into the Tide of Ashes, then it's a whole different story. Isn't that just a big sandstorm? What's the difference? In the depths of the Tide of Ashes, there is an unknown horror. The Apostle of Ashes. No one has ever seen what the Apostle of Ashes looks like, but those who narrowly escape death from the Tide of Ashes have seen huge, ominous black shadows wandering in its depths. The survivors describe them like this. They are like messengers of the gods, searching for lost followers, leading them to their deaths in the Tide. This explains the origin of the name Apostle of Ashes. But actually, I've always wanted to see the heart of the Tide of Ashes. But it would be too dangerous for you. I have no way of ensuring everyone's safety. I hope this kind of fictitious urban legend isn't discouraging anyone from the MBCC. Gosh, where did you come from? 
You know, in that kind of atmosphere just now, you could scare someone to death by popping out like that. It is the responsibility and duty of the Outland Affairs Bureau to discipline those who desert their post in the face of battle, regardless of time or place. Huh? Who are you accusing of desertion? The enemies that have been plaguing this city are within reach. This is the best chance to wipe out the desert bandits once and for all. If you give up the chase now because of a mere tide of ashes, be hard for the Outland Affairs Bureau to not be suspicious. First, you arrange the ship. Then you arrange the crew. And now, you're letting go of the best chance to catch the enemy. It's obvious. Quinn is behind this conspiracy. I have all the evidence I need. You are the treacherous traitors who colluded with the Outlands and Desert Bandits to sabotage state-sponsored hypercube trade. Huh? What the hell are you talking about, old man? Put your money where your mouth is and come chase them with us! This is your mission, not mine. In any case, quitting this chase is not an option. We want to see results from your mission immediately. Are you sure? My father once told me the most dangerous thing in the world is not taking risks. You're a gutsy one, and I love that. B-710, stay on course and chase them down! Understood. I will try my best to avoid the sandworms and keep everyone safe! <laughs> Finally, they hit a dead end! These guys are too good at me. Chief... Time is running out. <laughs> Did you have fun chasing us, you disgusting lackeys? Did you think we would dip? Oh, it's a pity that the ones dying here today are you. His hand appears to be an ash crystal. <laughs> Good. We can see what this ash crystal can do. Blah! The sand is rolling. Chief, there is something underground. It's the sandworms! They are moving underground and heading toward us! Didn't we steer clear of them just now? It seems that the desert bandits are controlling the sandworms with the ash crystal. Controlling sandworms? I've never heard of anyone who could control sandworms. Oh. Um. <laughs> so you actually guessed what this is used for? <laughs> That's fine. Soon, I'll go back to being the only one in the world who knows. <laughs> Come, my monsters, come play with these brats!
We cannot break through the encirclement. Chief, it's a trap. We're stuck. Uh, these desert bandits are just as despicable as the sandworms! Come fight me one on one if you have the gall! Dumb sh. You <laughs> Your syndic and cursing won't help you now, wench. Too bad. I won't respond to your provocations. Oh, boss, you're truly the. You knew right away that something was off about this ship. We must have made the Dis City bigwigs lose their minds from anger. They're now even resorting to dirty tactics like disguising a battleship as a hypercube freighter. They even hired Syndicate thugs, too. <laughs> Dis City has been living large from the hypercubes for too long. It's time for them to face the truth. Without their precious hypercubes, they are nothing. Power and navigation systems normal. Hypercube force field status activated. Ammunition reserves 90%. If it weren't for these sandworms, we'd have enough ammunition to blast those desert bandits many times over! Damn it! Hey, Kala Kala! You know White Sands better than any of us! Is there any way we can lose those disgusting sandworms and directly fight the bandits? Actually, there is a way. But even if we can get past the controlled sandworms, the biggest problem now is that we've been held up for too long. It is coming. Is that the Tide of Ashes? So, they want to use the Tide of Ashes to kill us. Ack, activate the Hypercube Force Field! At least try to avoid the incoming! Oh, oh, oh. arrogant dis citizens. Have a taste of the wrath we have felt towards you for so long. You monopolize all the resources and look down upon us outlanders. Experience your ignorance and faults in endless pain. Soon, death shall be your only relief. <laughs> Captain, there's a new target. The scouting team has identified a hypercube freighter. Great. Take the ash crystal. We needed to escape the Tide of Ashes. Wrap up the team and head out. Chief, come over here!
You idiot! 